These men are a long way from home. Afghanistan, Syria, Eritrea. They're all hoping for asylum in Switzerland. While they wait for a decision, they work repairing high mountain tracks. I didn't expect uh, that we are uh, going to be isolated in this place. I thought that maybe I, can, I have the chance to meet uh, Swiss people, to know the Swiss cultures. This is where Marwan and many other asylum seekers live, a former Swiss army bunker. Altitude 2,000 meters, miles from the nearest town. We are not allowed inside. It's true, the scenery up here is spectacular. But there's nowhere to go, nothing to do except manual labor. And the men working behind me feel very, very isolated. For many Swiss, though, this is the perfect solution for asylum seekers. Switzerland is traditionally generous to refugees. With 48,000 asylum seekers this year, it has twice the European average. But government plans to house them in communities, like here in the little village of Alpnach, have caused uproar. On Monday, an asylum center will open here, and residents are furious. The parents are worried. I have a daughter. She comes home in the evening after sport. The wood is dark here. There's only one street light. Of course we are afraid. Statistics show only a small minority of asylum seekers commit crimes, and children will be among those housed here. But Alpnach has introduced no-go areas for them. Sports fields, even playgrounds. We don't know what people are coming. We don't know how deep they behave. Could there be a conflict as asylum seekers getting in contact with school children, for example? Amnesty International says the policy verges on apartheid. At least one Alpnach resident is uncomfortable. The people, they come here, they are also human beings. And uh, those people, they don't just come for fun. They, they had a, a bad background, maybe a war or, or whatever. But other Swiss towns are introducing no-go zones too. Everyone insists asylum seekers are welcome, but many add, as long as they don't get too close. Imogen Folks, BBC News, Alpnach.